unprecedented Chinese genetic experiment may lead to an army of radiation-resistant super soldiers, according to Zero Hedge Tyler Durden. Report from South China Morning Post, Hong Kong-based, reports out of China continue to confirm that scientists there are still seeking to push through barriers with Frankenstein-like experimentation on genes with an eye towards the manipulation of human DNA. Any and all ethical considerations be damned. What could go wrong? According to Hong Kong-based South China Morning Post, has a doozy of a headline this week based on a breakthrough, breakthrough announcement by the team of scientists linked to the Chinese military working in Beijing. Chinese team behind extreme animal gene experiment says it may lead to super soldiers who survive nuclear fallout. The project was first unveiled in the Chinese language journal Military Medical Sciences and has been gaining more and more media attention and interest within the scientific community, but is also raising serious ethical questions, despite the experiment being defended by its overseers as totally legal. And according to details, the military scientists say they have successfully, quote, inserted a gene from the microscopic water bear, the tardigrade, into human embryonic stem cells and significantly increase these cells' resistance to radiation. They said success in this unprecedented experiment could lead to super tough soldiers who could survive nuclear fallout, according to South China Morning Post. The initiative involves the experimentation, introduction, experimental introduction into human DNA utilizing embryonic cells of a key gene found in water bear, the gene in question gives the microscopic creature a rare resistance to radiation and other extreme environmental effects. Scientists have long considered that water bears, also known as tardigrades, may hold genetic secrets, which could one day be key to human survival and longevity. The eight-legged tiny animal, which is similar, smaller than a millimeter in length, has been described as follows. Tardigrades are tiny, cute, and virtually indestructible. The microscopic animals are able to survive in a pot of boiling water at the bottom of a deep sea trench or even a cold, dark vacuum of space. In August, an Israeli spaceship carrying tardigrades as part of the scientific experiment crashed on the moon and scientists believe that they may have survived on the moon. Now, having isolated the tardigrades gene capable of producing shield-like proteins which can protect against radiation and other harms, the Chinese team said it would, quote, find a way to introduce this gene into human DNA using CRISPR-Cas9, a gene-editing gene tool now available in most biolabs, end quote, according to South China Morning Post review of the experiment. And the report continues, it said, in their laboratory experiment, nearly 90% uh, of the human embryonic cells carrying the water bear gene survived a lethal exposure to X-ray radiation, according to the team led by Professor Yu Wen, when the Radiation Biotechnology Laboratory at Academy of Military Science, Beijing. But the team acknowledges some huge unknowns. Adding an alien gene from the water bear into human embryonic cells could lead to harmful mutations or even kill the cells because of the genetic gap between the two species a risk use team was aware of, according to their paper. The shielding proteins are unique in the water bears. The immunity responsible after cross-species expression is known, and it can lead to some safety issues, they wrote. They envision possible future application of their genetic manipulation technique centered on water bear experiments in cases related to treating acute radiation sickness for first responders, military personnel, or anyone near a nuclear fallout zone. They also foresee the era of the future super soldier, quote unquote, and genetically altered humans capable of surviving nuclear apocalypse. And this is by uh, Tyler Durden on Zero Hedge. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. 
You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.